adaptation will be about mating behavior and mate choice in penguins. Penguins are scientifically classified as belonging to Domain Eukarya, Supergroup Uniconta, Clade Epistoconta, Kingdom Anim Animalia, Subkingdom Nematozoa, Clade Bilateria, Clade Deuterostomia, Phylum Chordata, Subphylum Vertebrata, Clade Gnathostomata, Clade Osteichthyes, Clade Sarcopterygii, Clade Tetrapoda, Clade Amniata, Class Reptilia, Clade Archosaur, Order Spinosiforms, Family Spinosidae, and a variety of different genera. Here are two different species from two different genera. On this is the macaroni penguin, and this is the king penguin. Usually penguins are not sexually dimorphic, so males and females look alike, although there are exceptions. Penguins have an elongated fu fusiform body with the head, short neck, tail, and webbed feet. The head of a penguin has a bill, which comes in a variety of shapes depending on the diet of the species of penguin in question. Species whose diet consists primarily of fish tend to have long and thin bills, and species whose diet consists primarily of krill tend to have shorter and stouter bills. Eye color varies in different species, and like other birds, penguins have a nictitating membrane, which is a clear, protective covering on their eye. Penguin legs are short, and their feet are webbed and have claws. Penguins have an upright posture. This is due to the position of their legs and feet. They are located farther back in relation to the rest of the body. This placement of their feet also aids in streamlining and stirring while swimming. They also have flippers and feathers. Flippers are modified wings that are tapered, flattened, and have short, scale-like feathers. The penguin's body is covered by short, broad, and closely spaced feathers, which help in keeping the skin dry. Most species go through one molt, or shedding of feathers, each year. As far as coloration goes, an adult ping all adult penguins have a dark dorsal surface and a white ventral surface. This coloration camouflages them when they're in the water. When viewing the penguin from above, the dark dorsal surface blends in with the ocean depths, and when viewing the penguin from below, the white ventral surface blends in with the lighter surface. In this way, they are protected from predators. We can differentiate between species by their own additional unique coloration and markings. For example, the Adeli penguin has a black head and a ring of white around their eyes. And the Emperor penguin has a black head, chin, and throat with broad yellow patches on each side of the head. Here I have pictures showing their web feet with claws, their tail, and their feathers. When hunting for prey in the water, penguins rely mostly on their vision. Some scientists believe that at night, in the darkness, and at great depths, penguins use their bio, the bioluminescence of other organisms to find prey in the water. When penguins catch prey, they immediately swallow them whole while swimming. Penguins also go through an annual fasting period, being sustained by their built-up fat layer throughout this time. Penguins fast during breeding seasons where they do not leave their nest to eat, and as a result lose a lot of weight. And they also fast when they molt once a year because the loss of feathers reduces insulation and waterproofing, therefore they can't enter water to hunt for prey. Penguins inhabit coastal and oceanic biomes where they get their food. All penguins live in the southern hemisphere. They are found on every continent there. Penguins are usually near nutrient-rich cold water currents because they are a reliable source of food for them. Penguins are flightless birds, therefore, when on land they usually live on islands and remote continental regions where there are no land predators. Different Species of penguins can be adapted to completely different climates. For example, the Galapagos penguin shown here on the left lives on tropical islands, while the emperor penguin shown on the right lives in Antarctica. Most penguins have an annual breeding season from spring through summer. Exceptions include the king penguin, whose breeding cycle lasts 14 to 16 months. Females are the ones that select mates and compete for them. Just like breeding seasons, courtship varies among species. Courtship will usually begin with visual and auditory displays. 
Males in many species would first display in order to establish a nest site and then display to acquire a mate. There are three types of displays, but not all species exhibit all three. The first display is called ecstatic display, trumpeting, head swinging, or advertisement. By exhibiting this display, males establish possession of a nest site, attract females, and signal to other males to stay away. To exhibit this display, the males dip their head low and stretch the head and neck upward while simultaneously stretching out their flippers and squawking. Males may be sitting or standing during this display. <coughs> the second display is called mutual ecstatic, in which paired male and female penguins perform together. The purpose of this display is to strengthen the pair bond, coordinate nesting behavior, and advertise a nesting territory. The actual display is similar to the ecstatic display, with slight differences among the species. Emperor penguins, for example, stand face to face and point heads down while braying. The third type of display is called bowing. The purpose of bowing may be to reduce the chances of aggression between partners and strengthen recognition between them. During this display, the head is dipped and the bill is pointed at the nest or at the other bird's bill, accompanied by a call in the form of a low hiss or growl. This display doesn't necessarily have to be performed by both penguins. It may be performed by only one of the penguins in the pair. I have pictures showing all three displays. This picture is showing the ecstatic, ecstatic display. This one is showing the mutual ecstatic display. And this one is showing the bowing display. Evidence supporting the evolution of an honest signal that females can use to assess potential mates is becoming more common, especially amongst birds. According to the article about Adelie penguins' mating behavior, it has been suggested that a trait which reflects an individual's energy reserves may predict the individual level of parental investment. This supposition could be particularly relevant to the Adelie penguin, as males assume the first incubation shift and therefore fast considerably longer and lose more weight on average than females. Only a male in good condition would be able to sustain the long fast and therefore male parental investment and condition are inherently linked in this species. Male condition is therefore critical for successful breeding and hence imperative in a deli mate choice. So basically, since the males need more energy for the long fast, they have to somehow showcase their strength and amount of energy so the females will choose them when they see that the male in question will be able to withstand the fast and not leave the nest site for food. But since it is unlikely that females choose mates based on visual information, it has been proposed that it, is, that it is possible that the ecstatic display call allows female Adeli penguins to be able to tell males apart based on their condition in order to ensure reproductive success. So they will look for the male that is in the best condition. According to the article, it is possible that production of a lower frequency modulation on the short repeated syllable in the call requires more energy. Therefore, the males with a lower frequency modulation will be considered to be in better condition. If that is the case, then these males will seem more attractive to the female penguins. Most species of penguins are monogamous, which means one male mates with one female. If a male does end up changing mates, if a female does end up changing mates, it is usually because her partner from the previous season did not return to the nesting area or both return at different times and fail to reunite. For example, in the genus Eptenodites, which includes only two, ping two species, the king penguin and the emperor penguin, divorce is common. Since species, species in the genus Eptenodites do not build nests and instead incubate their egg on top of their feet, they do not have a nest site. Also, searching for a new partner should not be very costly for both emperor penguins and king penguins due, the, due to the absence of territoriality. The absence of territoriality is especially prominent in emperor, emperor penguins, demonstrated by, by the fact that breeders walk with their egg or chick on their feet and congregate in huddles when the weather becomes especially harsh. Therefore, the article about high divorce rates in species of genus Eptenodites suggests that divorce is common in Eptenodites penguins not only because it is not costly, but because in the absence of nest sites that serve as meeting points, mate retention could be maladaptive. To summarize, 
Their adaptation to the lack of nest sites allows them to divorce frequently without decreasing reproductive success. And these are the references that I used for this presentation.